All right, an update on my uh, boiler here. This is that same system that I talked about earlier on um, how to wire it and how to do the plumbing, how it operates. System's been in running for about five years now and it has not been cleaned. Uh, they're supposed to be cleaned at least after the first year of use and then set up a cleaning schedule. This one gets heavy use, so I would almost recommend it every year, at least every other year. Uh, in order to clean these, there's bolts in all of these. I took all the bolts off, so you got the bolts around there you need to take off. And then there's bolts down in along here, all these guys, that need to be taken off. Once you take those off, you disconnect your uh, rectification and your, uh, hot, your spark igniter, and then disconnect the fan, and this just pulls off and comes straight on out. There's your burner. That's what makes the uh, fire happen on the inside. That's what senses the flame and that's what sparks onto here and that's where the gas comes through. Set that down, careful not to break it. And then you can see inside of here all that junk. Look at that stuff. That's stopping, just killing the efficiency of this appliance, right? And over time that all plugs up and comes out in your condensate. See how black and grody that is? That's because all that crap kind of comes out with the, all the condensate over time. So. It's pretty simple. We get in here and we vacuum this out. Don't scratch this. You only use a nylon brush on it. I've got my little nylon brush here. So only use this to get in here and you just scrub it. Scrub it up and down, scrub it up and down and get in a little vacuum. And I vacuum that all out and then we spray it with water. Just soak it. Lots of water in there. Spray it down. Try not to spray it on that disc in the back. Not the end of the world if you get a little wet, but try not to soak it and try not to damage that disc. That's what reflects the heat back out. That's an insulating disc. So don't damage that when you're getting in there with your scrubbing, right? Make sure not to hit it. And then, yeah, once it's all cleaned up, we uh, hook up our combustion analyzer to it and make sure the gas valve's still running where we want it to and fire back up. It should run like a charm for the another five years till it stops working and they call me again. But really, you should do it every year right depending on how hard this boiler gets used but this boiler does domestic it does all the in-floor and it does a fan coil so it runs year-round and quite often